All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for your SmackDown review for May 19th, 2023. Outside of the Bloodline stuff, everything else on SmackDown pretty much fucking sucked. You had, uh, what was it, Grayson Waller, a talk show with AJ Styles. That was a terrible segment. You had the Usos versus Ray and Santos in the main event. That was okay, but not really much happened on the show outside the Bloodline stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And they previewed a bunch of stuff, and they yeah, so they previewed a bunch of matches for next week because they apparently they taped SmackDown next week SmackDown after this one. Results already up. Just let y'all want to know. All right. Uh, so it starts off with Bloodline, Roman Reigns, Souls Cole, and Paul Heyman. No Usos with them after what happened last week. I'm so mad at them. Roman says, acknowledge me. Because he didn't like the booze and they were telling him he sucks or whatever. Like, no, we ain't starting off like this. And then as soon as he says that, KO and Sami Zayn come out. And then Roman says, this was my plan all along. I was going to bring you out here anyways. Only things, only two things to do. Your turn to acknowledge your tribal chief and drop your titles and see yourself out. So... KO dropped his titles, and then Roman says, I don't win fight, right? That's your thing. We don't want to talk to you anyway, Zeus. And then uh, Roman says he only has one regret, wasting my life on you. He's talking about Sammy. And then Sammy says, I have one regret, too. He says, that's not blasting you with a chair sooner. And then he says, we haven't been in the same ring since Montreal Elimination Chamber. Your greed has led us to this moment. Your whole life, everyone told you you're the best. Your whole life, you got everything you wanted. Now you want the tag titles. And then he says, look at me. You're getting all pissed off, Sammy. And at night of champions, you are not going to win. And you're not as good as us. And you're not as good as the Usos. Oh, Sammy's driving that knife a little bit deeper into Roman, pissing him off. And then Roman, he starts getting pissed off. And Roman says, that's how you feel. I gave you opportunity after opportunity. And he gets cut off because the Usos come out. They attack Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn. And then the Usos high five. And then Jimmy goes to high five Roman. Roman pissed off. He says, this was a simple plan. And he yeah, as he leaves the ring, he he show he bumps into show uh into solo, he, like shoulder to shoulder bump, so, like teasing solo leaving the the line. The little tension between solo and Roman, like oh I can't piss this guy off. He's are already got the Usos pissed off. I'm already pissed off at the Usos, so I can't have this guy piss off. He's be pissed off. He's the enforcer of the crew. So little details like that. That's why the storyline's so good. Um. Yeah, so then after they bump, uh, after he bumps into Solo's uh, shoulder, he go, Roman just uh, goes to the back. And after the commercials, you got a bloodline segment in the back. Jay says, we were just trying to help out, Roos. Roman says, you keep saying we. Sounds like if you're you're talking about you two. And says, this is a whole bloodline. This is a whole family. Who's the quarterback? Who's calling the plays? I had something I wanted to say. And he just kept yelling at him after this. I gave a good portion of my life to that dude. And I had something to say. You got what you wanted to do. Not what's been working this whole time. Not what kept us in the promised land. Not what's kept us on top. He says, I'm the guy. I make these choices. And he just tells him to get out. So, yeah, it was great stuff. After this, all this, these two segments, the show pretty much went downhill after that. All right, next up, we got uh, Brawling Brutes versus Pretty Deadly. This new Pretty Deadly crew, they're just fucking annoying, yo. So irritating. Uh, Ridge. Uh, Ridge Hall then tags in Butch, but hit two German suplexes on both members of Pretty Deadly. And then Ridge uh, tosses both guys. He puts them both on his, on his back, and then he tosses them off. 
And then Bro Brawling Brutes hit the 10 beats of the Baldrin on both members. And then uh, Pretty Deadly hit their finish, hit their, their finisher, Spilled Milk. The fucking stupid name for a finisher. Let's change that. So yeah, they beat the Brawling Brutes. Just some random match thrown together out of nowhere. That was it for that. And uh, next up, they showed a tribute video for uh, superstar Billy Graham who passed away. Just looking at the video they showed uh, during this uh, vignette. Um, he had one of the most impressive physiques, it looks like, and they showed some of his promo. He was pretty good at talking on the mic. But yeah, that's the beast of Billy Graham. All right. Uh, we got next match. Uh, Oscar versus Zelina Vega. Zelina hit a drop kick, and then she hit the 619 and the Meteora for a two count. And then Oscar applied the Oscar lock for the win. Uh, Zelina tapped out. So after the match, she wouldn't let go of it. And eventually, Bianca Belair came out to help Zelina. And then uh, Oscar spit the mist in Bianca's face again, but she didn't get all of it. She got like a little bit. Fucking whatever cares. All right. Next up, we got Grayson Waller effect. Guest is AJ Styles, another NXT guy, Grayson Waller. So I draft a SmackDown. Grayson asks him about his match versus Seth Rollins for the world, the new world title. AJ says uh, he was talking about how he was injured and shit, and he was like rehabbing. No one trains like him. And then he says he wants the new world title more than the air he breathes. And Gunther, I mean, Gunther, uh, Grayson Waller says, yeah, you know how the announcer says, a new world champion, Seth Rollins. So he's just pissing off AJ, and then they stare at each other to end the segment. I don't know, this is, the, usually the host, like, when you have a guest on, assuming this guy's going to be heel, Grayson Waller, he's supposed to piss him off more. He just seemed too nice in this. I don't know, something just fell off, so yeah. Maybe it's because it's his first. Uh, it was his first segment in the ring on the main roster. Maybe he'll get better at it. But yeah, this was not a good segment. He was too nice, AJ Styles. Got to piss him off more. He did at the end there, but throughout the whole segment, you could see it didn't feel like it was. He was pissing off him off enough. So these guys are gonna probably could they feud after Night of Champions? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, see what happens with that. All right, next up, we got a LWO segment in the back. They're pretty much just talking about their match with the Usos. Then we got uh, Street Profits versus LA Knight and Rick Boogs. This is such a random tag team thrown together, LA Knight and Rick Boogs. And out of nowhere. But it ended the night after uh, LA Knight attacked them. Probably have a match next week. All right, LA Knight hit an elbow on Angel Dawkins for a two count. And then Montez Ford hit a suicide dive on LA Knight and Rick Boogs outside the ring. Ford hit a frog splash for the win. After the match, LA Knight attacks Boogs. And then, yeah, so that was pretty much it. And before the match started, LA Knight's like, oh, I can beat you Street Profits with anybody. And he brought out Rick Boogs or whatever. Yeah, so after the match, he ends up attacking them. So they'll probably have a match next week. And that should be it for that feud because Big Booze is pretty much just irrelevant. Shit. All right, next up, we got a segment in the back with Karrion Cross as Scarlet. Cross says, they say justice is blind. I am the imminent threat to justice. It has no idea. Do you, Alan? That's uh, calling out AJ Styles there. You just real name. And then he shows like one of those pretty much a fucking Pokemon card with fucking AJ Styles picture on it. So apparently they're gonna have a feud. This is so random. They haven't even interacted and they're already having a match. Makes no fucking sense. Don't they have a segment, like these one or two segments together in the ring, so before they have a match or some shit. They all can have a somewhat of a story, but they've got WWE, just random matches, no story. All right, next up, we got uh, Elbow Fire and Isla Dawn, team, the NXT Women's Tag Team Champs. They went like two minutes against some jobbers, it's whatever. All right, next up, we got Austin Theory. He comes out, says he was ganged up on by both of 
Uh, those guys talking about Sheamus and Lashley in the triple threat last week. He says, I would have become the new world champion. And he says, when I'm on Raw, Lashley is on Raw. And I come on SmackDown, he follows me. He's got a weird obsession with me. He's jealous. And then he says, Sheamus, we got some things in common. We're both strong, tough, and we both beat John Cena. He says, I did it this year. James did it 12 years ago. Uh, Sheamus comes out and he broke kicks Austin Theory right in the face. So, yeah, they're probably, I think they're, yeah, they're having a match next week for the U.S. title. You know, Theory's probably going to win. Yeah, that's it for that. Uh, next up, we got uh, Sam in the back with the Usos and Paul Heyman. Uh, Heyman says the tribal chief forgives both of you. Jimmy, uh, then Jimmy says he's gonna be out there right tonight. Who's says Paul says no, he's the tribal chief. There's a lot that goes into that burden. He has to go to Night of Champions to make a statement. So two weeks from tonight, Roman's 1000 day celebration is champion. Then he says, It's the LWO, you got this, man. You got this victory. And he says, Don't make it a prediction, make it a spoiler. Then we got the main event, uh, Ray Mysterio and Santos versus the Usos. Santos hit a drop kick on Jimmy. Then Ray hit a Hurricane Rana on Jay Uso. Ray hit a springboard crossbody on Jay for a two count. And then Jay hit a neck breaker on Ray for a near fall. Ray fought out of a double suplex by the Usos. And then Santos hit a Hurricane Rana on Jimmy for a two count. Ray hit a leg drop. And then Jay broke up the pin. Jimmy hit a super kick, and then Jay hit a near uh, splash for a near fall. And then KO and Sammy come out. KO distracts the ref, and then Sammy shoves uh, Jimmy Uso off the top rope. Ray hit a 619 on Jimmy, and then Santos hit a splash off the top rope for the win. And then they show Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman and Solo in the back. Solo looked like he was going to get up. Uh, to go help the Usos, and then Roman said something. Couldn't hear what Roman said. He just probably told him to stay here, just chill out, get him a night of champions. So, yeah, that was pretty much it for SmackDown. And then, uh, so yeah, so the Bloodline stuff was good. Everything else is pretty much shit. Do my backlash. Uh, I don't have it set up. Do my backlash predictions. Hold up, y'all. Let's go to it. I mean, not backlashed. Night of Champions. Oh, there's only five now. Only five matches. Fuck it, might as well do them this week. All right. Uh, first match: uh, Bianca Belair and Oscar. Bianca Belair is probably gonna win again. You know, beat her WrestleMania. Why not beat her again? I don't know how long much longer they plan on having Bianca have with the title, so we'll see. She might lose. You never know. But there was some stuff while these. It's pretty obvious. Hunter's going to destroy this guy. And then uh, next up, we got KO, Sami Zayn versus the Bloodline, Roman Reigns and Solo. There's no way Roman's going to walk out with four belts. Not a chance. Uso is going to help. Most likely, Uso is going to help KO and Sami Zayn win. This match, so KO and Sami Zayn should retain. And then it's probably going to be Usos versus Solo and Roman at Money in the Bank, it looks like. They're setting up. Then we got Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar. All right, this the winner on this probably depends on how many matches they're going to have. If it's only two matches, it doesn't make sense for Brock Lesnar to win and they leave it at 1 1. So if it goes only two matches, Cody should win again. But if it goes three matches and they stretch it out to Money in the Bank or SummerSlam, then Brock Lesnar should win. So I'm thinking they're probably going to do three matches. So I'll go with Brock Lesnar in this one. I'll get his win back. But you can't leave it at 1-1. One, one. you got to have the winner of this feud, I guess. And then the last one, we got Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles for the new world title. Seth Rollins is going to win. It's an easy, obvious choice. They just just got smacked down and he's gonna win the fucking world title and he's gonna go back to Raw or some shit. Make any sense. Seth Rollins is pretty much the guy or whatever. So yeah, Seth Rollins should win the world title. Yeah, that's pretty much it. 
for show tonight. All right. See you.